Hello everyone, Mike Davis here, USA Today Network reporter and proud New Jerseyan covering all things legal weed. So to all of you tourists visiting the Garden State this summer, welcome back. If you're planning on visiting a marijuana dispensary on your way to our beautiful beaches and boardwalks, here are a couple of tips to make your experience as smooth as possible. First, make a plan ahead of time. All 13 medical marijuana dispensaries have specific hours and sometimes days dedicated solely to patients. And not every dispensary takes credit cards, so you'll want to make sure you have cash on hand or that there's an ATM on the premises. Number two, keep in mind that just because you can buy it doesn't mean you can smoke weed wherever you want. Unlike New York, you can't smoke weed in public. It's expressly against the law. Technically, you can't even take an edible in public. And the normal no smoking rules apply. Your hotel or your landlord can ban you specifically from smoking weed on the property. So make sure you read the contract carefully or ask your landlord or a hotel manager if and where you can get high. And finally, don't drive while you're high. I shouldn't have to say this, but here we are. No, you are not a better driver when you're high. Yes, marijuana is different than alcohol, but it's still a depressant and it's incredibly unsafe to even consider it. Not to mention, it's still illegal and nobody's going to feel bad for you if you get arrested for driving while you're stoned out of your mind. That's it for me. For a full list of the do's and don'ts on legal weed in New Jersey, check out my coverage on app.com and in the Asbury Park Press. For the USA Today Network, I'm Mike Davis. Have a great summer.